Hi guys and welcome to Brooker Ceramics. This week we're going to be making some just really simple minimal bowls that are quite open and quite flat. Um, so you can see here's a, a test one that I thrown earlier. So I'm going to walk you through the process on how I uh, throw this, trim it and then any other necessary preparations that will lead up to uh, having a perfect bowl shape. Um, this video is mainly intended for for beginners so if you're interested in learning a little bit about ceramics and some of these techniques that I use uh, watch on the rest of the video if you a bit more advanced and you know some better techniques then please leave them in the comments and let me know what you guys think so let's take a look at how I made this with every project what I want to do is draw out the bowl first so I'm going for this nice and wide open bowl with a very small foot something like this um, what I was trying to challenge myself to do this week is to uh, is to create something really minimal. So we're looking at something that's around six centimeters high. I'd say the base is around probably five centimeters, and the full width is around twelve centimeters. And for this I'll be using 750 grams of stoneware clay. Uh, so let's start weighing all this out. So for this I need to weigh out around 2.25 kilos of uh, stoneware clay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is weigh that out first and then I'm going to wedge it all together uh, and then break it down into the three bowls that I'll be making for this video. So now I've got roughly 2.25 kilos of clay, what I want to do is start wedging it. So now that I've got my clay out, um, I can begin preparing the pottery wheel. I've already laid down a bit of clay, so what I want to do is score in some more grooves and then I can attach the bat on top. Now that the bat is securely attached to the wheel, I can begin throwing. So I'm going to take my ball of clay and I'm going to roll it on the wheel head like that. And that will allow me to create a nice sharp peak. From there, I can then throw it down hard onto the clay bat uh, and then begin coding and centering. So once I've attached it down quite hard, I just wet my hands and allow them to run them over the surface of the ball and pulling it all in a bit more centrally. Once it's roughly in the center, I can then seal the ball down onto the bat using my index finger and pressing it against the edge of the bat and smearing the edge of the, the clay into the bat surface. 
and this will create a really tight seal. Now that the ball is securely attached to the, the bat, I can now begin coning and centering the clay. So to do this, I'm going to squeeze the clay ball in, bracing my arm against my leg, uh, and pushing it slightly centrally in towards the, the center of the wheel. And this will push the clay and force it into the center. As I create pressure around the side of the ball, uh, I use the lower part of my hand and the clay will start to bulge up and that will allow me to cone it up. Once I've got that up shape, I can then push it down into the wheel. So I'm going to zoom you in and you can take a look at that. Now that the clay ball is spinning roughly central, I can begin coning uh, and centering it. So now that I've uh, centered the, the clay on the wheel, I've also created this, this shape where you've got curved walls and a flat top. I've created a slight indent here as well, and this will allow when I start pinching the walls of the bowl up later to minimize the amount of waste um, coming from the edges here. I've created a flat top um, on the surface here as well, because what I'm gonna do now is press my thumb into the clay and that'll allow me to open it up. So I'm gonna open up the clay and I'm looking for about that much thickness at the bottom between where the base of the clay is and how, where it attaches to the board. So let's try that now. So I think I've got that roughly um, the depth I need. So I'm gonna use this pin here to check now. So I'm gonna place the pin in uh, and then stick my hand in and hold where the uh, top of the clay starts and that will show me the depth. The pin should stand on its own. Uh, it shouldn't fall over. Um, so let's take a look. So it's a little bit thick. I'm gonna push it down a little bit further. And that's a right about height. So now what I want to do, now that I've, I've opened up the clay, I'm gonna pull the clay out and open it up a bit more. So I've opened up the clay roughly five centimeters. The next part is to compress the base to make sure that it's really nice and firm. Yeah. 
What I've also done is create a, a very sharp angle between the base and where the wall start, and this will allow me to pinch it relatively easy in a minute. Notice that there is a slight wobble, so I'm just going to come in and correct for that. And now that that's nicely opened, we can now begin uh, pinching the walls up. So the first couple of pulls are to get the height of the bowl. Um, we want to leave the rim relatively thick because as we open it up and out into that flat bowl shape, the rim will become thinner and thinner. So this is still a bit too short. I'm going to open it, lift it up one more time. So this bowl is relatively open and flat. So now that I've got the right height, I can begin pulling it out. And again, it's the same motion, but as I'm pinching, I'm pulling it out. And you want to do this really, really slowly so that the structure of the clay um, retains its shape. If you do it too quick, it will just collapse. So you can see now with the first pull, the uh, the lip is relatively thin now. Uh, so that's why it's really important to make sure it's extra thick uh, when uh, throwing a, quite a wide bowl like this. So I'm going to continue to repeat the process until I got the shape, the rough shape that I want. So now I've got that rough um, bowl shape. What I'm going to do now is finalize the shape with this wooden kidney. And it also allows me to remove the excess slit from outside of the bowl. Now the outside is more or less finished. I just want to finish off the, the inside of the bowl um, as well as the lip. So to do this, I'm just going to come in with a sponge and just remove any of the excess. So now I've got the rough bowl shape form roughed in. Uh, what I'm going to do is let it dry out for 24 hours and then come back in with the wooden kidney and uh, burnish the inside as well. And this just helps finalize that shape and clean up the inside of the bowl. And then it'll leave it to dry another 24 hours and then I can begin trimming it up. So I'm gonna remove it from the bat and we're gonna come back in 24 hours and burnish the insides.
So 24 hours later and the bowl is beginning to dry out. It's still too wet to, to actually trim it. Um, the, the tools won't remove the material very consistently. It still needs probably another 24 hours until it's nice and leather hard. But it's in a good state to burnish the, the inside of the bowl and then flip it so that the bottom can dry out. Usually when I flip it, I just spray down the, the rim so that the rim um, dries out at the same rate as the base, with the base being thicker. Um, so it tends to be a, a two-step drying process for, for making bowls. So what I'm going to do is attach the, uh, the bowl to the wheel, burnish the inside, uh, if it needs it, probably tidy up the lip, uh, and then flip the bowl and, and set it aside for another 24 hours to dry. For this stage, uh, you'll need three things. You'll need a, uh, a brush, a, a sponge, and some kind of other wooden or metal kidney. Uh, I may alternate between the two, depending on, on how the clay reacts. So I'm gonna lay down some, um, some slip here first. I've got my reclaim bucket next to me, and this is a really good source of uh, getting some slip. So I just cover the, the brush with some slip and then apply it to the wheel. Now I've got slip on the wheel, uh, I can begin attaching my bowl. So I'm going to remove it from the board with some wire. And then place it in the centre of the wheel and uh, adjust it so it spins nice and centrally. The pole is now spinning really centrally, so I'm going to apply some downward pressure and then use my index finger, I'll just seal it with some water uh, onto the wheel. So it's now really firm and stuck to the wheel. So the first thing I'm going to do is burnish the insides and make it all nice and smooth using a wooden kidney. Now the inside of the bowl is burnished, what I want to do is remove it from the wheel, flip it upside down and then um, set it aside to dry for another 24 hours. So the, the base of the wheel, uh, the base of the bowl will be, uh, is quite thick, so it'll take a lot longer to dry. So all I do is come in with a, a little spray gun and just spray the rim like that. That'll absorb some of the water and um, stop it from drying out so quick. And that'll give time for the base to, to catch up a little bit. So we'll come back in another 24 hours and uh, see how we're getting on. 
So there's another day's pass now and the base of the, the bowl has dried out nice and leather hard and it's ready to trim. So I'm going to remove it from the bat, don't need that anymore. And I can see the inside of the bowl is nice and burnished, um, so that won't need much attention. And the rim is pretty clean too. So all I'm really going to focus on now is the, the underside, the base, and then the outside of the bowl itself. Uh, so what I want to do is, is place it on the wheel and I'll attach some clay balls around the edge and that will just hold it all in place whilst I trim. So I'll zoom you in and we can take a look at that. So for this I'll really just need these two tools here. We've got a, a more larger angular trimming tool and then a more finer one. So I'm going to find the centre um, and centre the bowl and then I'm going to use some of this clay to, to stick the bowl in place. So the bowl is spinning really centrally. There's a slight wobble on the base, but I can correct for that now. So it's perfect time to start sticking it down onto the, uh, the clay surface. So what I do is I push the clay down into the wheel, not against the, the edge of the, the clay, because that may cause it to, to warp. So I'll just place a few of these blobs around the bowl and that will allow me to lock it nicely into place. Next, I'm just gonna remove this uh, skirt that's appeared around the base, uh, and I'll use the small piece for that. So we've removed some of that excess. We now want to make the, the base of the, the bowl as flat as we can before we start indenting. So for that, I'll be using this larger piece. So now it's nice and flat, I can begin trimming up the walls and the base of the, the bowl itself.
and here's the final piece so uh tell me what you guys think in the comments below and let me know what shape you'd like me to to make next so thanks for watching